Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a high-end makeup haul. Not everything in here is from Sephora. I just figured I'd put it all in one bag to save space. You guys seem to really love my drugstore makeup haul, so I figured I'd do a high-end one as well. Uh, just like the drugstore one, I need to stop like crumpling this. Let me put it down. Just like the drugstore one, 99 percent of this is from PR. I am so grateful and lucky to have the opportunity to get stuff from PR. There is no way I would be able to afford this on my own. And this is an excessive amount of makeup. No one needs this amount of makeup in their life. So this is purely so I can try things out, let you guys know what is good, and you guys can request tutorials or reviews with stuff. And I'm sick again. I don't know what's up with my immune system, but I feel like I sound a lot better than my previous videos, but yeah, still sick. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I need to start taking Echinacea tablets or something? I don't know. Anyway, if you guys want to see uh, the high-end stuff I've picked up recently, then just keep watching. Yes, I know I have lipstick on my teeth, it's annoying me too, but I realize this soon and fix it, don't worry. Okay, so first up we're gonna go in with Foreo? Probably pronouncing that wrong, uh, but this is like one of those I don't know what that is. It's like a skin cleansing brush thing. Kathleen Lights mentioned that she uses these in one of her videos, so I was like, I'll get one and try it. This is the Luna 2. Obviously, I've got to put... Oh, I have to charge it. I was like, I have to put batteries in it somehow. So I just charge it, and then this is what you use in the shower to like cleanse your face. Well, you don't have to use it in the shower, but that's where I cleanse my face, so that's where I'm going to use it. And it just vibrates to like penetrate deep into- this video is getting kind of sexual. <laughs> it vibrates to clean your skin better than your hand. I'm just gonna put this down, this is getting sus. Oh, look at my teeth. Okay, let's- it's probably gonna happen a lot throughout this video. But I've noticed I've been breaking out on my chin lately, so hopefully this will help with that. I feel like in every video these days I have to mention Kathleen Lights. And I'm always like, Kathleen uses this, so I bought it. She makes me spend so much money. The spider's back. We should- we should name him. What should we name the spider outside, guys? I'm I'm feeling Frederick. Frederick the spider. Just keeps staring at me. Next up, I got another beauty blender. This time I got the like kit thing where it's got the mini beauty blender and then this gray one. I've never seen it before, but I'm pretty sure the pink one is still gonna be my favorite. Then I also grabbed some hair products. So I'm obsessed with the brand Way. Way? Hallway? I'm pretty sure it's pronounced way. Their hair care line is pretty amazing, except for their uh, dry shampoo foam. I didn't really understand how to use that. But besides that, I love their range. I picked up a leave-in conditioner, a volume spray. Love a bit of volume. Uh, and also a memory mist, which I'm assuming is like a hairspray. Let's see, heat protectant. What? Use before you style. Priming spray adds heat protection, shine, and long-lasting memory. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a priming spray. Never mind. I'm still looking forward to using this and seeing how it performs. Nothing has disappointed me in way hair care yet, except for that uh, dry shampoo foam thing. But that just could be me, because I didn't really get it. It's gonna make a little pile on the ground here, so I don't crowd up my tiny desk. I also grabbed another beauty blender. This is the Just Chill beauty blender. I'm assuming it's exactly the same as the pink, but it's greeny blue, teal, aqua. But it's about time I picked up a new beauty blender. I have literally been using this one, I want to say like six months, but maybe more. And you're supposed to throw them out after like three months, but who really does that? <laughs> I normally throw them out when they start to tear, and this one's like starting to tear. <sighs> I also picked up two new skincare products. I've been getting really into skincare lately because I'm in my like mid-twenties. You know, stuff, stuff starts to go downhill from here, guys. I feel like I'm starting to get like pigmentation on my cheeks and like a few fine lines. So I picked up the Lancome Advance Genifique. That's me trying to be French. Youth Activating Concentrate. So hopefully this will make me youthful. And I also grabbed the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I feel like so many people rave about Kiehl's and I haven't really tried their skincare before. So this is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils, distilled bio botanicals. <laughs> can't read right now. To visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. I'm pretty sure it was Steph who said that she loved this at the moment. One of my friends did. I've been using the Clinique, uh, sorry this fight is distracting me. I've been using the Clinique, mm, what is it? Moisture Surge Overnight Mask and that has like changed my skin but I'm worried it might be the cause of these breakouts. I'm pretty sure it's not though, I'm pretty sure these are like hormonal. 
but it's been amazing so I'm excited to see how this one performs. I'm pretty sure that's everything that was not makeup. Now it's like the most exciting part for most of us, the makeup. I've had too many copies today. Ooh, okay, so first up, this is out of its packaging because the packaging sort of pooped itself. It's the Park Ave Princess by Tarte. This looks so... Ooh. This looks so beautiful. You guys know I'm obsessed with Tarte. So we have a light pink setting powder, a banana powder, and then all these like bronzers and contour shades. It looks so pretty and I love the packaging of this. It just feels really sturdy and like luxurious as well. I really like it. I can't wait to use this. Next up, I picked up two of the Zoeva Opulence collection. This has still got its packaging. Hold on. I got the new eyeshadow palette. How beautiful does this look? I'm obsessed with this color here. Oh, and this color and every single color. Oh, Zoeva makes amazing eyeshadows. I've said this so many times before. Definitely check out Zoeva's eyeshadows if you haven't already. They are such amazing quality. They're so pigmented and so blendable and they're one of my favorite uh, eyeshadow brands. Then I also got the Opulence uh, blush palette. I love this highlight shade, love this like blushy, bronzy shade. Uh, probably wouldn't wear this shade though. It's really quite dark. I think it would look really beautiful on deeper complexions, but I think it's a bit too dark for mine. It'd make a great eyeshadow though. And can we just admire the packaging of this for a moment? Oh, isn't it so beautiful? Then I also grabbed some things from Cover FX. I love Cover FX. They're such an awesome brand. I grabbed the Glitter Drops. I've seen quite a few mixed reviews with this. They are glitter drops, so they're not gonna like give you a natural highlight, but I feel like this is awesome for like festival or really out there looks. So personally, I love it. When I was talking to the girls at Cover FX, uh, they also said it's really awesome to put in your hair as well, to add a bit of sparkle. Oh, can we just, oh my gosh, oh, I love it. I wanna put this all over my body for Splendor in the Grass. Which is a music festival if you guys aren't from Australia and haven't heard of Splendor in the Grass. Oh, look at it, isn't it? Oh, I love it. It's so sparkly. You can just see, look, now it's in my hair. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't look like dandruff on camera. Then I also grabbed the Cover FX uh, Shimmer Veil in Amoseth. Amos. Why do I struggle to pronounce this word? You guys know what I mean. This looks so beautiful. I really want to get more of these. I feel like these would be so beautiful to uh, cut your crease with or just apply on the eyelid for a very glittery look. Oh, I got another shimmer veil. This is celestial. I forgot I got this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is like, uh, I want to say like a, like a pink pearlescent color, I want to say. That's it there. So beautiful. Okay, next up I grabbed something I'm super excited for. This is my first Natasha Denona item. Oh my god, I'm in love with Natasha Denona's stuff. I just wish they weren't so expensive. I was like swatching all the eyeshadow palettes and they're so amazing, but I just can't afford them. So this is the Natasha Glow All Over Glow Face and Body Shimmer Powder. It's so beautiful. Oh, I just want to put this on my face. Mmm, I love this so much. Then I grabbed a whole bunch of lip products. So first up is my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. I used to use this all the time on my channel, probably about a year ago, um, until my pencil got like this big. So it was about time I grabbed a new one. This is like my favorite uh, like natural looking lip liner. It's the perfect shade for my lips at least uh, to overdraw my lips and it's just so beautiful. I love it. And I also picked up a few lipsticks. So first up is Giorgio Armani. I feel like I said that really fancy. This is the shade Ecstasy Shine 300. I love the packaging of this. It's like so luxurious. It's just this beautiful red shade. And I picked up my first Bite Beauty lipstick. I feel like I've heard a lot of uh, American YouTubers rave about Bite Beauty, so it's about time I tried it. So this is the shade Cayenne. Cayenne? Like Cayenne Pepper, maybe? It's this beautiful coral shade. It's gonna be perfect for spring. I also picked up a Bite Beauty matte lip crayon. This is the shade Sugar Cane, and it's this beautiful, sort of nude pink color. I feel like this is the perfect nude for my lips. I'm just gonna pop it over the top of the three lip colors I'm already wearing. Oh, it's so pretty. Not really a fan of the taste though. It's got like that um, sort of like plasticky taste. Ugh. Hopefully that goes away soon because this is a beautiful color. And another lipstick I picked up is from the Sephora collection. This is part of their Wonderlust series. This is the shade. I was like looking at the bottom being like, made in Italy, I'm pretty sure that's not the shade, but it's on the top. 
it is 33. Ooh, this is beautiful. It's got like hashtag matte written in the lipstick as well. This shade would be perfect for fall, for like a vampy look. Oh, I love it. Okay, last lip product I picked up is by Givenchy. And this is their Gloss Interdent Vinyl in the shade 12. It's just a beautiful red gloss. I love the packaging of Givenchy. It's like so luxe. Mmm. Oh, smells good too. It smells like a lolly. Oh, I grabbed another thing from the Sephora brand. I picked up their mascara. This is the Outrageous Extension Mascara. My friend Kiana, who's Freakmo FX on YouTube, she loves the Sephora brand mascaras. I'm not entirely sure if this is the one that she's always going on about, but I thought I'd try it anyway. <laughs> Next up, I grabbed two eyeliners from Nude Sticks. I Ah! Sorry guys, you know how I am with opening things. So I got the shade Golden Rose and just a black one. These are the pizza cutter eyeliners that I was um, talking about in my drugstore haul video. So they're like a little mini pizza cutter. And you just... Whoosh. Then I picked up the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. So this product has been out for ages, but then they released two new colors. So I grabbed one of them. Um, I'm pretty sure this is light medium. Yes, light medium. Steph raves about this all the time. So hopefully this color matches me. I think it will. Also with being in my uh, mid twenties now, I've gotten really into products with SPF. I know sometimes they can cause flashback if it's like a physical FPS. FPS what? SPF? So hopefully it doesn't give flashback. Okay, we have four things left. So first up is from MAC. This is the Hyper Real Glow Highlighters. Uh, I wish they would print on the packaging what the shades were. <laughs> I've actually been using this for the past four days and I am obsessed with this, guys. This is like my new favorite highlighter. They create such a beautiful natural looking sheen to the skin without being like glittery. Can't swatch it on that hand because I've got glitter all over it. It's just so beautiful. Oh. I am so obsessed and they just feel so buttery and you get a nice big mirror. But yeah, like I said, wish they would print the shade names so I could tell you guys what shade they are. The next thing I grabbed is from Smith & Cult. I didn't know that they did makeup. I know they did nail polish and I have quite a few of their nail polishes, but yeah, didn't know they did makeup. So I decided I'd try it. This is the Book of Sun Chapter 1. Sunday Sounds, Slumber Still, what? Oh, that's the shade names. I was like, this is a really long name for a product. So this is a blush and bronzer duo. This does look really pretty and these are both shades I would definitely use. I love the big mirror up here. One thing I'm a bit iffy about though is the front of the palette is like all groovy and textured. Uh, so it's not the best for like stacking palettes on top of each other, but the actual product does look really pretty Okay, this is the very last thing I picked up in my haul So Sephora was doing this thing where if you bought an eyeshadow palette, they would um, emboss I think that's the word uh, your initials onto the palette So I decided I'd pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette and it's got my initials on it It's so pretty and it looks like it's actually part of the palette because they've got this like gold embossing bit on the palette already. But this palette just looks so beautiful. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial with this palette. I'm also thinking of picking up the Natural Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ooh, that was like a massive coincidence that I had my hand there and then picked up the brush. I think I've got like Spider-Man senses, like just caught that brush. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys want a tutorial with this one and if I should pick up the uh, Natural Glam, I think that's what it's called, palette, and do a video with that one as well. I also want to get the Amrezy highlighter, but I've heard it's pretty much exactly the same as the Balm's Merry Luminizer. Have you guys tried it? Is it the same? So that's everything I've picked up that's high-end lately. Let me know what you guys want to see used in videos and what kind of videos you want. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos from me and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys! Oh, God, oh, my God, the spider's growing! What the... I'm a Sith. I'm a Sith. I'm a Sith. Where's the English?